welcome to Cardis Chemistry. Today I'll be showing you three states of matter. Now you might be wondering how something like this, a solid, can turn into something like this, a liquid, which can turn into something like this, gas or water vapor. These are called phase changes and I'll be explaining that right now. Follow me. To understand phase changes within the states of matter, you got to understand a few key terms. Here I've written out endothermic, exothermic, and intermolecular forces. In an endothermic reaction, we have heat or energy entering a substance. This makes the exterior feel cold. In an exothermic reaction, we have heat or energy leaving the, the uh, substance. This makes the exterior feel pretty warm. Now, intermolecular forces is how strong the attraction is between particles. Everything is made out of particles. This is made out of particles, I'm made out of particles, and you're made out of particles. So, in an endothermic reaction, the intermolecular forces between a, a substance will weaken, causing the intermolecular forces to break and the particles to spread apart, getting further apart. Particles in a solid are very jam-packed together with strong intermolecular forces holding them together or attracting them to each other. If you try pouring something like an eraser into a container, it will not, the eraser will not take the shape of the container. This is because it has a definite shape. Uh, a solid is very dense and not very compressible. The particles in a solid will tend to vibrate and, and the solid has a definite volume. The particles in a liquid are more spaced out than in a solid. If you try pouring a liquid into a container, such as water, you'll notice that it takes the shape of the container. A liquid has a fixed volume and is less dense than solids. It is also almost incompressible. Uh, particles in a, in a liquid will move in a straight motion or straight line, but much slower than in gases. Particles are spread out, but less in gases as well. Particles in a gas are much more spread apart than in a liquid or a solid. They move in a fast, straight, rapid motion and in a straight line. A gas has very low density and is also compressible. It takes the shape of its container and its volume, meaning that the particles will spread apart evenly. In a container, the particles will eventually collide with each other and also the walls of the container. The harder the particles collide, the more pressure it exerts. So, at constant temperature, the initial energy of the particle is the same as the energy after the collision. This is an elastic collision. So if you raise the temperature, there is more energy put into the system. So the particles gain more energy, causing more pressure after the collision. Now if you drop the in temperature, the energy is lost after every collision. And so pressure is dropped. Melting or fusion is an endothermic reaction from when a solid turns into a liquid. This is one of the phase changes. When a solid starts to melt, the intermolecular forces start to break down. This is when heat or energy is added to it. This turns it into a liquid. The particles start moving more, faster, and they collide with one another. This is a solid. Notice how it doesn't take the shape of its container because the particles inside are jam-packed. Now, the ice, I will turn this into a liquid or fusion, the phase change. This pot is extremely hot, so it'll change very fast. Okay, ready for this? Notice how it's so hot that the liquid is turning into water vapor. This is vaporizing. Ah, that is hot. Okay. So, we went from a solid we added heat or energy and we turned it into a liquid. Now from there the liquid kept going into a gas, water vapor, because it was so hot. When heat or energy is added to a liquid, the intermolecular forces start to break down. This causes the particles to move much faster and they start to collide more frequently with each other in a straight rapid motion. So when this happens, the vapor pressure exceeds the air pressure. Vapor pressure is when liquid particles on the surface exert pressure on particles in the air. Now air pressure is when air particles in the atmosphere exert pressure on the liquid. This is a better example of a liquid turning into a gas. This pot is very hot. So, 
as energy or heat is being added to the liquid, it starts to evaporate. The internal molecular forces start to break apart. Particles collide more and they move much faster. This right here is the product of the endothermic reaction when you add heat or energy. Condensation is when a gas turns into a liquid. This is an exothermic reaction. Now, the particles in the gas, the intermolecular forces, will get stronger as heat is taken away. So when heat is taken away, the particles start moving slower and they collide less. This turns the gas into a liquid. Now I'm going to show you some condensation. Right here in my hands I have a cold bottle of water. So, drops of water will form on the cold bottle because of an exothermic process. The water vapor right here surrounding the bottle will start condensing as the cold slows the particles down, causing them to collide less and intermolecular forces to come together. This, will, this creates the liquid on a cold bottle of water. Let's try it. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but some liquid droplets are starting to form if I wet that. It's pretty wet right now. I don't know if you can see that, but... Well, if I wipe my hand on it, my hand is really wet right now. Can you get that? Freezing or solidification is an exothermic reaction where a liquid turns into a solid. The intermolecular forces in the particles of the liquid get stronger, so the particles slow down and they collide less, turning into a solid. Now, in a solid, the particles are still in motion, but they vibrate. This is when heat leaves the liquid. Last night, I froze some water into an ice tray, and this is, this is my result. I got some ice cubes. It turned into a solid. This is an exothermic process, because as the liquid gets colder, heat starts leaving the, the substance. Particles start slowing down and the collisions start getting less. This turns it into a solid. The particles, the particles get closer together and they eventually get very jam-packed. The solid will not take the shape of its container while notice that a liquid will take the shape of its container. This is the same thing as a gas. Sublimation is an endothermic reaction where the solid skips the liquid phase and goes straight to the gaseous phase. An example of this is dry ice. When the solid turns into a gas, the intermolecular forces start breaking down, and the particles move farther apart. Deposition is an exothermic reaction where a gas skips the liquid phase and goes straight into the solid phase. Here, our intermolecular forces get stronger. An example of this is hoarfrost. As the heat is removed from the gas, you see that it, the particles start slowing down and moving together and colliding less. Thank you for coming to Carter's Chemistry. I hope you learned a lot. Iron is a metal. You see it every day. Oxygen eventually will make it rust away. Carbon in its ordinary form is coal. Crush it together and diamonds are born. Oh, you're still here? Well, while you're still here, why don't I show you some bloopers? Hey, I'm a solid. <laughs> Liquid, water, and gas. Cut it. Oh, <laughs> these are called base changes. And you know you see this 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 aura right here. This is what Frick. <laughs> the water vapor surrounding the can uh, bottle. What are you doing? The water vapor surrounding the can will start bottles. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with the vapor pressure when it exceeds the air pressure? Oh, that's a good question, Billy. <laughs> Slower and colliding less, turning into a solid. Now the particles in here, they're, they're pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this is an exothermic reaction where the particles in the liquid. Oh. One second. <laughs> the particle. The heart. Particle. Really. The harder the part particles will go. The... Now I'm gonna melt this. A face change. Remember that, kids. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm a mop in the water. Mop in the water. Mop in the water. Into your face. Ah. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Carter's Physics. Chemistry. <laughs> Here we go, a liquid. Turning into a solid. This is called physics solidification. <laughs> I am getting stronger. Called an exothermic reaction. Yeah, heat is leaving, particles slowing down, colliding this, vibrating. <laughs> <laughs>